guys, hope you guys are having a good day. Today I'm going to do a little quick demo on this Nikon uh, entry level D3100 camera. Okay, so it comes with a Nikon lens, uh, similar to Canon, auto, auto and manual focus. Um, and you know, you just attach it like anything else. It's a standard kit lens, this. Um, this is a really old camera, guys. So, um, I'm sort of kind of like I've had a little play with this and I will just kind of little do, do a little demo but I, I, I find it very sort of clumbersome because of the new sort of cameras that you can buy now so switch it on basically um, hit it over here so switch on the camera and you've got your manual your aperture shutter and program mode on this one you've got your macro which is quite nice um, sports shot baby shot uh, scenic shots, portrait shots, flash off and auto. Okay, so all your settings for this Nikon uh, D3100, put it back into manual mode. You've got sm uh, small and quality I think, continuous burst mode and timer over here as well. So if you want to put it on to, I don't know, s uh, small, okay, so if I put it on small, I've got it on, I'm going to go back to my menu and here is my menu. Now, I find this menu very, very old school in terms of the way it looks, the way it sort of kind of looks. Um, however, I do like some things about it. So, for example, this is your shutter, this is your aperture, and these are all your settings on it. Um, so, if I go back into it, if I want to change my shutter, it's basically over here. And I quite like this wheel, so it gives you this kind of wheel which tells you that it is going up and down, okay? So big, larger and open, larger and slower, uh, larger and bigger, uh, well, smaller and larger opening, shall I say. Um, and that's quite nice. Um, if you click on this Q button, it doesn't do anything. If you click on this button, it doesn't do anything. If you click and pull this, it takes you into your live view. Uh, it's not touch screen, so if I click like this, it won't sort of, you know, do touch screen sort of features, which is, um, well, nowadays it's like, you know, you, you're kind of doing that, wait, waiting for something to happen and it doesn't happen and you're like, ah. But anyway, go back there, you go back to your main menu, uh, you got your button to delete pictures, you got your pick your button to uh, press OK. And because I'm a can user, I'm, I'm really struggling with this wheel, like it's just got a le literally a left up, uh, le up, down, left, right um, icons. Um, I'm used to the wheels going around, which is a, a lot more easier for you to navigate through the settings. So I'm finding that quite difficult and quite difficult to adjust to. Um, this button here takes me to my uh, menu. And again here, you can change things like your quality, your, your file your file size if you're shooting in RAW, for example. You can go to white balance and, and change the white balance to whatever you wish. And one thing I do like about this camera, it gives you a little visual. So for example, if you're shooting in auto, uh, in, in transcendent lighting, so that's part of your, your house lighting, cool white lighting, so in an office, uh, flash off, auto lighting, um, you know, so this is quite a nice feature. I, I quite like that, tell you the truth. And again, if you click on this OK button, it will take you back to your main menu. So if I press in ISO, and you can change the ISOs on again, if you, you know, it gives you a little visual to tell you what's the best for 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, um, 3200. And I think that's practically what it goes up to nowadays. You know, some cameras go up to the 50s and 60s and 70,000. So this camera is very old and it doesn't have a huge um, ISO um, range. So again, click on this button here, autofocus. Again, autofocus, so it'll give you like little visuals to sh signify which would be the best option for auto, single server auto, continuous server auto. If you, for example, doing sports photography and manual autofocus, okay, so that's quite a nice feature. And you know, you, you know, most people are going to be shooting these types of images, so you can just sort of select the right feature for yourself. Then you've got area of uh, zonal focal points, so again, you can sort of single focal point. A dynamic focal point or 3d and again if you are a visual person and you well you are going to be probably a visual person if you're photographing um there's a little visual there to signify what the settings would be best appropriate for what you are shooting for the next one would be metering so again metering there is a lot of spot metering matrix metering center weighted and spot metering so those are again useful and it will give you again a visual to tell you which would be the most suitable settings for what you're shooting. So again, I'm gonna click on this button here, 
um, active dynamic mode on and off okay F uh, video size my days this one goes up to 1080p wow for an old camera that's pretty decent um, and you've got your exposure compensation here as well and you can increase and decrease it and it'll give you your visual to signify again how much exposure you are digitally adding to your scene again click on this button this button here this button over here it will tell you what you've got shot and if you want to delete you can click delete and press let me try that delete oh gosh see this is what i don't like about this camera it's quite cumbersome so you, you know basically delete view delete yes delete okay i might be wrong on that but double check with me um then you've got your menu so in your menu you've got your camera setting so you've got things and again you can hover up and down this menu and change whatever settings that you might want to change it to um, and again you can sort of just hover through it like you know raw image quality and noise uh, framing um, battery resetting the camera brightness of your LCD screen all those types of things are all visible within your uh, menu um, and they are you know sort of kind of they're there for you to have a look at and to change whatever you change. You know, you might not necessarily change all these, but they are all there for you to go through. Color balance, for example. Again, if I scroll down, recent settings. It, this is quite a nice feature. It tells you what recent settings that you changed. So there are, for an entry-level camera, quite a lot of settings on this camera for you to sort of play around with. Um, I personally don't like this camera, and I don't want to go on a negative, but because the menu is very cumbersome and it's not touchscreen and it's not quick enough for me um iso is very low and um i don't particularly like this state i find i'll be forever doing that it's a bit too slow for me I, I need it to be much quicker than that i quite like the canon where you can hover up and down like this and you can see the visual in real time which suits i think nowadays users more than this kind of platform so obviously new nikon cameras will probably have those features but this obviously this is an old one um, and it does have some limitations. So if you're looking to get an old camera, just to get started, a D3100 is an entry camera that might be useful for yourselves. Um, then you've got all your connectivity over here as well, and you've got your, obviously your standard SD card slot over here as well, which you can just sort of pop in, and it will pop out like this as well. Okay? Um, so yeah, uh, Nikon D3100. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I think it's okay. It's not a brilliant camera. It's something that I would probably go onto Facebook Market and see if I can get it for about 50 quid or about $80 or, you know, not spent huge amounts of money on this, say the truth. Um, I would personally buy the second hand. I wouldn't buy a new one of these. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Obviously, you're watching it because you're thinking about maybe getting one an entry-level camera and that's why you're watching this. Um, and this might be suitable for your needs. Okay? Thanks for watching guys. Any questions please do post and I'm happy to respond. Thank you. Buddy.